50 years after Ireland voted to join the European community, citizens from across the continent gathered in Dublin to finalise their ideas for tomorrow's EU. It was the last meeting of this European Citizens Panel, all part of the Conference on the Future of Europe. There was a show of solidarity with the people of Ukraine before participants put forward recommendations on the labour market and how to balance growth and equality. We recommend minimum wages with a perspective into some sort of minimum net income provided for all European citizens. It's about social justice, protecting those with uh, poor wages, uh, no uh, education, poor skills. Meanwhile, panellists looked at how to make Europe's economy more sustainable. We want to incentivise environmentally friendly production in the form of possibly tax benefits for companies that are producing in an environmentally friendly way. With the online world ever more central to our lives, participants discussed how to guarantee everyone in the EU has access to digital tools, tech and skills. They put forward ways to protect users' privacy and ensure good practice from tech giants. We're thinking about creating a pan-European agency uh, that will be monitoring this and also be responsible for sanctioning and certifying sites and companies and being our voice against these uh, big companies. Citizens also recommended stronger cultural and linguistic exchanges across the EU and measures to promote sports and physical activity. 20 panel representatives will champion the recommendations in March at the conference plenary in the European Parliament in Strasbourg. The work of Camilla, Owen, Vasco and their fellow citizens will feed into a final report which EU institutions will have to follow up on.